road trip continues, and this week what I thought we'd do is head into New Mexico. I have never been on this kind of a road trip. I've never traveled this far away from Minnesota. I've been out to Montana deer hunting a couple of times, and then you guys have seen some of the other trips I've done, so this is something new for me. I'm really enjoying it. roads and most suicidal birds well GPS says that this is the National Monument tri-state monument for New Mexico Oklahoma and Texas let's step out and take a look I'm not too sure that it is the only thing I see is this post right here let's check it out sure it's got a surveyor's mark okay so yeah this is it Since we're here, I hope the farmer whose field that I'm parked in doesn't mind, I'm gonna make up a little lunch. I'll show you what I got in mind. It's called Swiss steak. It's Mandy's recipe. Her dad gave it to her. And it's pretty simple. A green pepper, steak, cream of mushroom soup, tomato soup. Cook that in a slow cooker all day, and then I'm gonna put it over potatoes when I get to where I'm finally going. First, what we're gonna do is just brown up the steak. Now we're gonna cut up the green pepper. Now in the crock pot, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a can of tomato soup, a can of cream mushroom, the green peppers, and then we'll put the steak bits in. Once we got a nice brown on the steak, we're gonna add it into our mixture. I'm gonna wash some dishes and I'll be right back. So supper is gonna be done for tonight. It's gonna to taste good. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put this inside the truck with me. So it looks like we got three hours till we get to our boondocking spot. I'm gonna keep the crock pot on high for the first three hours. When I get there, I'll turn it down to low. I'll let her cook for another two hours. Should be ready for tonight. About an hour out in the mountains, coming into view now. Really makes me excited to see where we're gonna end up tonight. And supper smells fantastic. So we entered the Rockies in a town called Cimarron. So we're just coming into them now. Still have about 50 minutes to get to our boondocking spot, but this is exactly what I was looking for. This is what I was hoping to find. It's just beautiful. So we're definitely gonna be driving into this storm. Hopefully it doesn't get too bad. And hopefully the roads don't get too bad. I haven't turned on the radio to find out what's going on. If it does get bad, I'll turn the weather radio on, to see what I got. Well, I jinxed myself. reviews say that the road can get pretty washed out when it's wet and that you want a four-wheel drive so hopefully we 
we won't have any issues with this truck. I'm gonna be passing through the town of Red River right now. Looks like a really cool little town. In fact, next couple of days, if I stay here, I might bring the bike in, take that for a tour around town. This looks like a pretty cool place. Maybe I can do some laundry here. Right outside of town, we're gonna get on the forestry road and we are going to find our spot. Fingers crossed. So we're starting to get a little on the tipsy side here with this road, but here's one spot. It's kind of close to a parking lot for ATVs though, so I'm not going to take that one. We're going to just keep making our way up this road. Definitely just one vehicle at a time on this road. could see these roads okay here is what I was looking for let's take a look at how unlevel we are well the hole worked out perfect I think well that's way off which is fine there's a vehicle. And I mean, this couldn't get any possibly more off. Yeah, this is not going to work. Let's see what's going on up here. I know the truck would get up here, but I'm not seeing any place that's more level than where I'm at. Okay, I found it. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sneak the truck right up in here. This way. I'm heading from the neighbor over there. That guy is way over there. Yep, this is where we're going. to toe we're gonna be off but I can work with that this way is not too bad let me work on this a little bit I'll get right back with you guys well the question is how level did we get not too bad here's what I did I drove up on boards the compressor put it at 100 psi unhitched my hat fast guns used my jacks in the rear to lift it up it's really not too bad inside Side to side, that's sitting perfect. As far as front to back goes, sure it's got a little bit. It's not the best, but it'll work. It'll do just fine. All right guys, we're back for supper. Gonna finish this out. One of the things I always carry with me, instant potatoes. four minutes. Right now, we're just running the truck. I'm not starting up the generators and I don't want to drag the cables out. So the truck's not going to bother any of the people that are around me. And we've had a few new people pull in. So we are going to make this up and uh, yeah. First, we put on our potatoes. Then we add a little bit of the Swiss steak. can really smell the green peppers. A 
All right, guys, that was a good supper. I'm gonna put the crock pot away in the truck, finish editing, but we're gonna call it a night tonight. So I'll see you tomorrow. So my neighbors have been great. They're quite a ways away, uh, but even when they do bring their razors and four-wheelers up the side of this mountain to go up the trail, everybody's just kind of scooted slow past me. Not really loud. Wow, there's a white tail right up on the trail. Right behind the pine tree. Let's see how close we can get. She's staring me down now. It's a doe. I've heard that New Mexico is beautiful and I, I see other youtubers get up into these mountains but it's something to experience it for yourself this is definitely a must-see yeah this is this is just beautiful as the Rockies in Colorado and I believe that these are the it's the same range of course it's gonna look different though but yeah it's gorgeous Definitely not in Minnesota anymore. The houses, they look pretty cool though. You guys are probably thinking, well, it's just a house, but I've never seen a house made like this. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, a lot different. We have vinyl siding in Minnesota <laughs> and log. Maybe aluminum siding is just not practical here.
I'm in the Carson National Forest and don't really know where I'm at completely to be honest with you um, but I ran into a road that says private property I don't see a lot of evidence that there's been people back here I'm on a forestry road so I know I'm good um, some evidence of a campfire maybe what I'm gonna do though I think I'm gonna put the drone up in the air and just see if I can see anything around here I'm not in a national park so there's no worries with that I don't know I think that might be the best throw the drone up see what it looks like Well, I decided you only live once, so let's go see where this road goes. I mean, that's that's what I've always done in the past, and that's always seemed to work out for me. So that's what we're gonna do. But I think this is where I'm gonna stay. The trees, Hide me from people. Mountains in the background. This storm's beautiful. We should probably get some. We should get some shots of that. All right, let's get the camper moved. These storms are just cracking thunder everywhere. I'm seeing lightning off in the distance, but I'm seeing that there's even bigger mountains over here that you just can't see because of all of the clouds. So we're gonna set up here, hopefully tomorrow. It'll be nice and clear. Uh, what I'm not gonna do is put out slides though. There's no reason to, uh, especially if we're gonna get severe weather. I'd rather not have rain and stuff, have a chance to come underneath the slide. So let's go make home. Well, thankfully it's just small hill at this point, but I hate that you drive across the country and you find a hill storm. Yeah, they're just tiny little peas right now. You can hear it, it's coming down hard and it's just pea sized hill right now. So hopefully it stays with that. Hopefully tomorrow will be absolutely gorgeous and I can show you guys this cool spot. I found there's a number of available campsites out here. Just gotta look a little bit. You could really, really get lost back here and you could really get away back here. I haven't seen anybody yet. This is uh, well, it's my first day here, but it's Saturday and haven't seen anybody come through yet. getting pretty late out. I think that's episode number 17 in the bag. I want to thank you for stuck around the whole time. This place has been so wonderful. It worries me with the amount of rain we've been getting though. I got to get out of here tomorrow morning. Hope I don't get stuck. You guys will see that next week. But for now, we're going to end it. You know what to do. Be kind, be honest. We'll see you down the road.